In this video we're going to take a look at how to configure Cisco ICE 3.1 for accessing the graphical user interface using SAML single sign-on and we're going to be using Microsoft's Azure Active Directory as the identity provider. I will also include a good Cisco document around some troubleshooting steps if you run into some issues with uh, SAML and getting this set up in the video description. So to start off with uh, what we want to do is we want to go across to administration on our ICE machine and then we go to external identity sources and then we go down to SAML identity providers. We'll start off by clicking add and what we want to do is we want to give this a name. So I'm just going to call this one Azure AD and then I'll just save that and then what we'll do is we'll just go across to our admin access and we want to change our identity source from by default it is internal what we want to do is we want to change it to the one that we just created so we're going to select Azure AD here and then we'll press save and then what we'll do is we'll head back over now to our external identity sources and we'll just get rid of this old one so it's not confusing um, what we'll do now is we'll just uh, click on to this and we need to uh, now export the service provider information because we're going to need some elements out of that uh, to configure the Azure side. So I'll just go ahead and I'll export that now and that's going to download a file local to your system and I'll just open that file up and then I'll show you what elements we're going to need from that once we actually get uh, to that configuration stage. For now, we'll leave ICE as it is for the time being and we'll head over to our Azure uh, tenant. Now, to configure this integration, we need to configure an enterprise application. Before you do that, just make sure that you have the necessary groups within Azure uh, configured that you want to assign uh, to this for access to the ICE uh, graphical user interface. I'm going to be using this group here, so ICE admins. And if we go back now and we just go to enterprise applications, and what we need to do is we need to create a new application. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, custom application because one doesn't exist in the application gallery uh, for this integration. So we'll just give it a name, we'll call this um, ICE and then we'll leave the setting as integrate any other applications you don't find in the gallery um, and that's basically what we're doing so we'll press create on that and then once that's created we'll be brought into the actual application that we've just created so you can see we've got a few step by step step um, areas that we need to focus on so the first one is going to be assigning those uh, groups or group that you have configured of users that you want to be able to access um, ICE. So what we're going to do is we're going to press add user group and then we've got none selected so we're just going to um, go down and find our just type it in here so ICE admins here select that group and now that group selected so I'll assign that you can select more than one group if you choose to do so and assign different permissions and we'll take a look at that a little bit afterwards now we'll go to single sign-on and we need to select SAML and now this is where we get to the bits and pieces that we're going to need for uh, from the service provider information that we downloaded from ICE so we've got the entity ID and the assertion consumer service URL that we need to populate so this is the field here and the reply URL as well. So these bits and pieces are going to come from the service provider information that we downloaded from ICE. So this is um, the XML file and what it will look like and essentially we have here the entity ID. 
So I'm going to copy this entity ID and then this entity ID is going to get put into here. And then similarly with the consumer service URL, that's towards the bottom here. And we're looking for consumer service. So you can see location here. So we're going to copy this URL all the way up to action. And then again, we're just going to paste that into the Assertion Consumer Service URL. And that's it. That's all we need from the um, service provider information. So what we'll do is we'll just save this now. And then once that's saved, we'll just close that and we'll move to step two, which is attributes from claim. So what we're going to do is we're just going to edit this and we're going to add a new group claim. And then we're going to specify groups assigned to the application. And then with this, we're going to click on our advanced options. And we're just going to give this the name of groups with a capital G. And then we'll save that. And you can see there that that's now saved. So we'll just go back to our SAML configuration. And if we move down now to step three, the last thing that we need to get from here is the Federation Metadata XML. So we'll just download this here. And this information is going to be from the XML file that's downloaded will be populated to our ICE um, identity provider information. So with that now complete let's now head over to ice and if we go to our identity provider config and we choose file we're just going to select that file that we just downloaded from the uh, azure environment and then we'll save that sometimes i've noticed on this version you may not be able to save without refreshing so just if you do get that uh, issue just give it a quick refresh Go back to SAML Identity Providers and then Identity Provider Config and then again add in that file, press save and then it should work. I don't know if that's a little bug but it's um, cosmetic nevertheless anyway. So we've populated general, we've now populated the Identity Provider Config. We've done the service provider information where we exported the information and imported or copied the entity ID and consumer service URL uh, into Azure. Now we need to head over to groups and in the group membership attribute, we need to make sure that is the same as the um, name that we gave in the uh, new claim that we created in the Azure tenant. So, Again, groups with a capital G. And then for our group mapping, we need to, uh, I'm gonna give this super admin privileges. And for the name in the assertion, we need to match against the group that we specified. So in my case, it's ICE admins. So if we just go to users and groups, and if we click on ICE admins, we can see we've got an object ID here. We need to copy this object ID and we need to paste this into the uh, assertion field here and, and add that. And now you can see that it's added. So we'll just save that. And in terms of configuration, that is pretty much all you have to do. Now you can go ahead and obviously create custom uh, role-based access control policies if you choose to do so. Uh, and custom you know, group mappings on, on ICE, but we're just going to make use of super admin for this demo. And now what I'm gonna do is if I just now sign out of here, and now what you can see is we've got a login with SAML, whereas originally you just have the, you know, the, the usual default login. So if we just now click login with SAML, and that's because I have another user that's uh, already signed in. So what we'll do is we'll quickly open an incognito uh, browser and then we should be able to uh, do this. So now I've got my incognito window open. I'm just going to navigate to my ICE system. 
and if I log in with Sam all this time I won't get that error now I'm just gonna log in with the user that's assigned to that uh, that group and that is gonna be uh, And then if I just enter the password for that user. I'm going to stay signed in. And now you can see I've successfully signed in now with uh, single sign-on. You can see user details not available for external administrator, but I'm logged in uh, with super admin privileges. So again, now if I log out, log back in because um, it's single sign-on, we should be able to log straight in with that password. And there you go, you can see we can log straight in again. So that's simply how we can configure ice3.1 with SAML single sign-on to make use of Azure Active Directory as an IDP to log in to ICE. So next what we'll look at in an upcoming video is how we can actually use the same setup and apply two-factor authentication using Duo as well. So if you do want to take a look at that video please do search on my youtube channel and again check out the uh, description of this video for a useful document uh, with some troubleshooting steps and uh, solutions if you do run into any issues thank you for watching